This is the basic home screen of uh, the Android G1 phone. You can see there's a, a clock and some applications, basic applications there, and you can swipe up to access all the other applications on the phone. You can see a lot of Google services are integrated here. We've got um, you know Gmail, and instant messaging. They've got their own music player and and other applications, and you can just swipe it to get rid of it. Uh, opening back and forth, and you can see there's a bunch of different stuff in here. So um, it comes with a browser. It comes with its own browser. So this is the the basic home screen, and you can do some neat little tricks with it. Of course, you can uh, swipe back and forth to different panels, but you can also drag and drop the applications all over the place. So let's say we want to move uh, my faves. We can put it on to uh, one of the other screens, drag it around. Or if you notice when I touch it and hold it, it turns into a trash can. You can dump it off the home screen if you want to. So here is a nice little uh, application and uh, you can uh, drag it and drop it wherever you want to. Of course, if you press and hold, you'll get the uh, application uh, shortcut widget uh, drop down menu so you can add things to the home screen. Which is the same, of course, if you push menu and then add. You get the same same thing as if just pressing and holding. So some duplicated features, but uh, you know it's a nice little shortcut to be able to do that rather than have to dig around through some menus. So here's just a quick look at the camera application. You can use the trackball to navigate around, and of course, just touch it with your finger, and it will launch. So it launches pretty quickly, and we have the camera button is here. So. Uh, this phone performs pretty well. Another one that we saw here did not pan around as well, but uh, this one does pretty decently. Uh, camera does have autofocus, so uh, you can see it uh, working there. So you'll get some autofocus pictures, but uh, it's not very fast. But you get some options there to uh, do some different things with the pictures uh, once you've taken it. So uh, that's a, just a quick look at the camera. If you want to see the phone application on the G1, simply touch the dialer. You can see we've got a nice standard numeric keypad, which uh, you can use to triple tap and enter information. And you also, of course, have these tabs, so you can jump around to uh, your contacts, your favorites, and, uh, the, and the call log, uh, just like on some other phones you may have seen with touchscreen user interfaces. But uh, that's the dialer application on the G1. So there is a quick tour around the Android-powered G1 from HTC running on the T-Mobile network.